my bad <laughs> i should have been seriously so yeah welcome everyone again yeah i was on mute all the time sorry my bad jeez so yeah this is a show match between <laughs> team arquivis uh, versus team mills uh, one's from one team is from india one team is from australia a uh, show match organized by evoy india by nitro one of our community managers uh and also here uh he's here with us co-casting this game hey nitro hey what's up guys what's up <laughs> so yeah this is game 2 guys if you have missed game 1 uh it's already on youtube uh evoy india youtube and twitch uh you can just go and have a look at the odds all the drafting and everything is also over there we had some sort of uh, technical difficulties uh, earlier and we were not able to cast those games live but anyway we are back now uh, with the recorded games and nitro is here to co-cast these games so it's going to be fun let's see hey nitro so yeah let's start the game nitro yep cool let's go so what is this map nitro so after the game one this is the home home map pick from team mills and it is oasis so so should i search like i i don't know how to pass <laughs> any like this me okay all right no problem so uh, for uh, team occupies we have uh, hades here playing in uh, where is it okay orange. hades here playing in orange as britons and to his pocket we have nitro playing in purple as students and on the other side we have fur playing in yellow as uh malians and his flank uh is legion playing in red as vikings that's basically team occupies for you guys on the other side we have uh team mills from australia uh we have uh sage playing in blue as koreans oh shit are we going to see some sort of crush it's going to be fun let's see uh in... yeah we are going to spoil it for you guys <laughs> <laughs> so in green we have a uh, crash uh, playing as slabs on the other side uh towards legion and first side we have uh by Byz- what's his name byzantine times playing yeah. in uh, teal as spanish and his pocket is uh chopin playing in a color that no one can see usually so that's great <laughs> he's playing as berbers guys so yeah so that's basically the sifs uh so what do you think of this sifs uh nitro so oh. let's talk about the flanks The way mm-hmm. SS is usually like people they tend to wall up or usually go for towers. Uh, so anything can happen. People sometimes you even go for scouts, drush, fast archers, anything. But especially facing Koreans on this side uh, for Hades, and also it's not a easily wallable map. So sometimes this OS is uh, map spawns are pretty sick, and looks like we yeah, got one of those. Yeah, sometimes it just you can't even wall the your side. It's just so open. Mm-hmm. So so what do you think uh, what do you think is uh, the play is going to be here is it going to be a uh, rush from uh, zage and uh, it's just going to be defensive play for hades on the left side so as we like like we predicted a rush from koreans player so we actually went for full fast feudal into scouts plus archers okay and uh, it didn't happened actually <laughs> so i just don't here. want to spoil i just don't want to spoil i just don't don't no, know just how to cross the game i played just don't worry about what happened just think like what what might happen it's just a sort of prediction just assume that you haven't played the game so like we already know that uh, we can see legion uh, hades is going for loom so he might be close to clicking up and going for fast feudal instead of going fast castle same goes for legion so like we can predict that they are going for fast feudal by seeing the, the build order, loom coming mean. in yeah the loom coming in as well so quickly what so time are you usually, at uh, i'm 8:35 what 5 minutes yeah. 35 seconds 8 minute 40 Eight min- seconds oh shit that you you are quite ahead of me uh, can you just pause it there 8 minute yeah, 40 yeah, something 8 minute 40 seconds yep so uh like just looking at this map on the left flank uh, there is a big hill uh, which could be also very uh, beneficial for uh, zage if he especially goes for a rush uh, that hill is going to give all of his towers extra uh, 
attack yeah yeah extra attack yeah. and uh, yeah taking some buildings or towers on top of a hill is not going to be that easy and what is oh, this wall by zage <laughs> so it seems like he's not planning yeah, to go just, for trash it's just wall on his face <laughs> yeah exactly this is so much and disrespect if, if this zage goes for trash and look at the heady stones over there oh boy so he'll deny both of his stones so hades might have to get stones from nitros base and that will like be a big problem for him yeah and, and the uh, same thing happening on the other side too yeah that wall is actually yeah i mean uh, I like team mills are desperately trying to wall up this maze and team arcibus is trying to make sure that it's open so which is which is pretty good for them if they can actually keep it open because both the flanks from team mills have spent a lot of time in walling uh, now look at uh, zage i'm at 12 minutes now sorry 12 minutes yeah yeah i'll pause here okay yeah uh, so if we look at uh, zage's base uh, he is walling back now going forward and walling that map was not a good idea and also same thing on the other side to both flanks fail to wall forward and that's going to be pretty uh bad for him uh, for team mills like too many idle wills it's what so time exactly you are i'm at 12:13 12:13 mm-hmm. okay let's go okay uh so they have spent a lot of time on walling so a lot of idle wills and on the other side we see hades is already coming forward with archers and militia yeah this already looks like uh, team australia at least from the flanks positions they are not in good good place i think team australia's plan was to just full wall and go fast castle into boom mm-hmm. or knights plus crossbows but but uh, I... team archibus just went scouts and archers so that's a big problem for uh zega max and uh, crash yeah, and on the other true. side it's just same yeah, that's true i mean this is some desperate walling from uh, team mills so yeah. especially now uh, at least on the left side it's completely walled but right side is completely open still which actually gives legion and fur a chance to go and raid their economies this is this is not actually uh, i mean this is if the walling would have worked out for uh, team mills this would have been really nice play but the problem right now they have spent a lot of time on walling and a lot of idle wills and they still they're not up it's going to be a major disadvantage for uh, mills when it comes to uh, the army and also when it comes to the map control they're not making any army they're just trying to defend with the towers and uh, walling up their bases so what would i'm looking at the civilizations uh like koreans and spanish uh, sorry slavs on the left side for team mills and britons and uh teutons uh, the bottom left side for team occupus so like civ wise even civ wise team occupus has a uh, slight advantage here especially those teutonic knights teutonic free farms which is going to provide like Ton, tons of economy for still slavs got some better farms and uh, they got boyars as well so yeah, yeah they got better farms boyars? problem is we not i don't see any villager mining stone so yeah boyars would be let's say uh, end game play if the game goes that far but uh, early uh, economy lead is going to be pretty huge for team occupus So yeah we can uh, sorry by the by looking the scores of their flanks team is flanks it's actually like really bad yeah looks like they are pretty dead yeah and there's no support from their uh, mm-hmm. pockets just now knights coming in to help yeah, each pocket respectively like just one armor so uh, and this few archers from legion are going to just provide some time for him to uh, like even mass numbers and also will provide time for Uh, for to get his uh, numbers up but on the other side oh man so looks like slav okay at least like with that slav economy he can produce knights 
a lot. But the problem with Teutonic Knights, again, they have that extra armor, uh, extra damage, and also those pretty cheap farms. So it's gonna be pretty good for uh, at least on one side. But let's see what's happening on uh, the other side. Okay, Knights are from both the players, but still for slacking some upgrades on those Knights. It doesn't matter, there's a lot of backup for him with the archers. It's gonna be fine. I see Chopin is gonna be in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, it's look like, it looks yeah, like he's and not... he's making a defensive castle, oh, but man. it's just so far where the actual aggression is going on. Now is it gonna be a doubt castle? It can be a doubt castle if fur and uh, legion spots it. Okay, they spot it, but no oh, wrong timing. Oh no, <laughs> those archers. Okay, just yeah, uh, it's not that bad uh, losing one archer. So. On the left side, uh, looks like uh, still Hades and Nitro are not up. They haven't even clicked up to feud uh, Castle Age. But the pocket, I mean, look at this now. If the pocket comes forward with uh, like masked knights, both Hades and Nitro will be dead. Uh, you can say that actually because. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge advantage. Oh, really, Jami can actually counter knights and he has plus one on them as well, so... Yeah. Scouts can't do anything and... Uh, also, these archers, archers cannot do anything. Yeah. yeah. So, that's a sloppy move by uh, Crash. I think he should have... Uh, like, get like at least like few more numbers of uh, those knights and at least kill this army what uh, Hades has at the moment so that Britons won't be able to mass more number of archers. And he can use yeah. those knights and go go to the woodlands. Usually, woodlands are not so protected in the feudal age, especially on oasis. You can quick wall them, but yeah, with more knights, he can easily break. So crash went for four TCs now. So he's just oh. going for boom. So and so... instead of going boom, if we if we had gone like two stables knight production and uh, just killed Britain's guy before he reached castle age, mm -hmm. that might be like. Yeah, exactly. protein mill. That should have been the play for a crash instead because, of uh, going because, for him. Uh, his flank is actually like really behind now. Mm -hmm. he, uh, three towers were forced out of him. And uh, yeah, true. Yeah, I mean crash. I think that was a sloppy decision by him. Like he knows the other side. Uh, he, play. I'm sorry. It's just just a greedy play by his crash. Yeah. So he should have gone uh, double stable, uh, get uh, plus one attack as well on those knights, and then like just go like full mass raiding. You could, uh, both Hades and Nitro are still in feudal. They are gonna reach castle soon. But once they reach castle, then yeah, these few knights are not gonna do anything. It's gonna be like complete knights and uh, archer combination, crossbows. It's gonna be pretty sick and it'll be very devastating for a uh, Zage. He won't be able to control that push. Actually, for me, they are in Castle Edge. Mm -hmm. What time are you? So I'm at 23.37. Oh, okay. Same. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so everyone's at Castle except for Sage. Uh, Crash had all the time to do uh, enough damage for both Hades and Nitro, but uh, he did not capitalize on that time. Uh, but now he's gonna get pushed back completely. Uh, Zage, we're gonna see him in a lot of trouble. He's trying to stonewall his uh, map, which is fine. But what if Hades goes forward with a siege workshop? All he has to do is just try and get one hole somewhere on these walls, and then it's gonna be uh, GG for uh, Zage. Look at that hill. That might be a problem for Zage because. If Hades drop a castle over there, he's gonna deny two oh, yeah. of two golds of uh, Zage. Mm -hmm, true. Like and all these, it's gonna just give them map control. Yeah, all these hills are gonna play an important role here. You can see there's already plus one attack and plus one armor on those Teutonic knights and just plus one armor uh, from Slav player. Oh, this is gonna be seven a Seven knights versus seven knights, but the Teutonic knights are number sick. matters alone. Yeah. Still like 27 crossbows from uh, True. Uh, Hades. And okay, nice micro there again by both the players, Hades and Nitro. And let's have a quick look on the other side what's happening. 
So tons of uh, knights from uh, fur and a lot of crossbows from uh, Vikings, uh, from Legion. Uh, seems like they're just trying to catch up with the numbers and then get into the bases. Okay, uh, camel archers. Oh boy. So camel archers, but again, look at this. There is no, I don't see any military from uh, present time. He has military, but not enough upgrades on them. But Fur is doing really good by adding some camels which can counter those knights easily. And there is a lot of military here from both Legion and Fur. He can easily, they both can easily take the fight. And also upgrades wise, yeah, they have uh, more upgrades. So, seems oh, like... this has made a castle that's gonna help him stabilize and build up his economy. So, I think we got, we ain't gonna see anything on the other side until any one of them reach Imp. Yeah, seems like it's gonna be passively from both the players, uh, from both the teams and try to get to Imperial Age, uh, secure more control and get more uh, military out and also maybe possibly set up the trade. And maybe, uh, maybe we may not see a trade, uh, but no idea, but let's see. So defensive castles coming out everywhere except for the Britain player. Uh, let's have a quick look at the will count. So Legion at 57 wills and uh, the t uh, the grey player uh, Chopin at 55. Seems like the will count between the right flank is neck to neck. Yay. So yeah. And uh, other than that. Uh, Far at 97, uh, Hades at 70. Zage at 54, Crash 96. Seems like Zage has a lot of issues here. Like, he yeah. needs to, he has, somehow he has to outboom. Three, three town centers is not gonna be enough to catch up with uh, the boom from Team Occubus. He needs like more town centers and or else he just has to go like full aggressive. If he wants to outboom at this point, it's like not that. gonna be that easy. And the, look at the castles from Crash. He just. The castles gives him nothing. You spot with the castles? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> right next to it is like. Seems what? like Why he just wants to defend his place. Yeah. No idea, uh, but that's an again. Uh, that's again a bad move by. Uh... Drop a castle between the two lumber camps from Zedge, mm -hmm. yeah. so that his wood line will be safe. And oh, Zemax, um, you man, respond to this. Okay, he lost a couple of villages uh, on the wood line, but. Yeah, that's all. But on the other side, seems like a fight's gonna happen. Uh, uh, Fur lost one camel and uh, Chopin lost few camel archers over there. And Malian player now is finally moving forward. Looks like, uh, let's see, um, Crash has already clicked up to Imperial Age. Um, and also uh, Byzantine has clicked up to Imperial Age. Uh, so is Hades and Fur. Seems like Legion is struggling slightly to click up. Uh, he's still on one town center. Okay, he's on uh, two town centers. And he is... Man, he is Vikings. He should have clicked up by now. Especially he's but not he still engaging in fights. Crossbows and uh, look at the trade is coming up for Team Mills now. Oh, yeah. Making uh, markets. Uh, seems like they want to get the trade early as possible and try to somehow try and finish to kill this early military composition by uh, Team Archibus. Then, yeah, especially if that military goes down, it'll be very difficult for uh, Team Archibus uh, because they will slowly, eventually will run out of coal. They have to set up the trade. And this is again a nice move by Hades so that it can sort of secure some sort of map where they can trade. But again, this map is completely open. Uh, he's going for a castle on the hill, which is good. But the push on the left side, on the right side, is gonna be pretty hard. Uh, but there is a lot of military uh, by both Fur and Legion. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, we have to see which side Crash goes. Like, wherever Crash goes, oh, that side Crash will is definitely. Like, yeah. And they are trying to push Hades and Nitro now. Mm. So they are getting out with some war wagons and boyars plus knights yeah. from Crash. Mm. 
and this is again a passive play i would say if crash would have gone the other side he, they could have easily killed uh, the complete military composition with boyas and whatever the military that they have <gasps> is it going to be a doubt castle no no it's going to be devastating again for team mills they have to get away from the castle he took some shots downhill as well so yeah this like a lot of those boyas are, are not looking pretty healthy right now uh but then that uh, they're still massing up more and more numbers on the right side flank uh, a lot of knights coming from spanish player and a lot of cavalry art uh, camel archers from uh, chopin but so if this game goes late late so uh, i'll prefer spanish uh, mm -hmm. uh, teammate because of that trade bonus yep so if you have like more gold you can spam more units and mm -hmm. you can just out out outlast your uh, enemies yeah and also look at this now like team occupies uh, like all the players are uh, up up to imperial age now they are already in the name uh, but team mills a uh, couple of players are both the flanks are still struggling which again shows uh, the amount of idle time that they have spent uh, early feudal early dark age trying to wall up the map a lot of military numbers again for uh, team occupies so they have this control uh, early in control they all they have to do is somehow push oh and the fights happening on the right flank a uh, spanish player with cavalier upgrade and oh all the heavy camels are sort of bugged here <laughs> oh god still a lot of military for uh, legion seems like that forward castle from spanish player will go down eventually and there are a lot of castles uh, on this area castles yeah they need more uh, military, uh, sorry, more uh, trebuchets. And uh, Legion is going for a Siege Ram. So, I don't know if Siege Ram is going to be that uh, crucial here. I would have suggested to go for like 3-4 three, three, trebuchets, get the castles down. And then set up your icon, uh, trade. And then you could have gone for a Siege Ram, that would have been a play. Because siege rams can go down pretty fast to those all the cavalier that uh, are just patrolling right underneath the castle. Yeah, exactly. So you need range. You have uh, heavy camels. You have a lot of uh, herbal ass. So you don't have to worry about uh, trebuchets. You can easily protect them. So to kill those trips, they have to commit with the all the military that they have, uh, and that's not going to be an option. If once they lose the military, it's gonna be very hard for them to get the military members up again for both the team, both the teams. It's another big fight on right side yeah, now. Yeah. So yeah, Fur might lose some uh, camels here, but he can easily reinforce. But in this process, all the cavaliers are going down. Like I said, if they have to commit, they have to commit with the complete army. So that's gonna oh, be a big that issue. Fur has a rimba on his camel, so it's plus seven oh, attack for yeah these camels are camels, sick now so the paladin can't do anything unless uh berbers get numbers high and can like start killing camels exactly but again for uh berbers they we have counter arbalas here from vikings the numbers are pretty high for viking so player. A poor unit choice from team mills what you say uh it's not poor uh, uh military choice i would say uh poor uh, team coordination there so they would never win a fight there uh, they max killed one trebuchet okay now finally they sniped another one so this is again poor coordination by uh, team occupus here so let's say if you get like four trips you what you have to do is like you just have to put your camels in front of the trebuchet and uh, place your herbalist uh, around the trebuchet so stands are coming in here as well now mm -hmm. So on the other side, here's yeah, still a waiting game. So I mean, this combination is uh, pretty good. Like uh, Cavalier and a lot of Herbalas, just protecting those trebuchets. So Siege Ram... Uh, yeah, not even like got a lead war, war wagon yet. Mm. So they're kind of bad now. Because mm, yep. Herbalas can just one shot uh, war wagon. And if he had went for like a lead first, okay, now he has a lead. So it might be difficult for Britain's player to push that guy, mm -hmm. but still there are a lot of still, cavaliers. Yeah. Okay. Team so there. again, this one, uh, I think Nitro should wait uh, until those rams get to the castle. Okay, finally, uh, the micro is good. So you just have to make sure that those boyer doesn't come close to archers. So that should have been a play here. 
instead of uh, trying to catch those rams. He could have waited for the rams. Uh, but anyway, he can still kill a lot of military here because Teutonic Knights are sick. Uh, sorry, but Teuton Paladins are sick as well, along with Teutonic Knights. Uh, he could have easily protected uh, half the military from Hades here and still get the equal number of kills. Uh, uh, let's say uh, Boyar and also those war wagons. Just lost all his castle, so he can't mm -hmm. produce the unit he was producing. True, and all the upgrades and resources that he uh, invested. Three, is gone. three members of uh, team is are going for unique units. Yeah, I mean so, that's not a. Uh, I mean if not you a can, pass, but still you can't uh, get the numbers as much yeah, as like. and also especially if you lose those castles, uh, you won't be able to catch up with the production. And on the right side, okay, there's a big fight again happening here. Uh, those oh, Farimba camels have done a lot of damage. Oh god, looks like... What if uh, Berbers were the pocket and Spanish could have gone for Conquistadosa's flank? No, that might no, be Spanish... a better option actually. Yeah, I mean, with Spanish you can do a lot of uh, things. You can go even for uh, towers and then go to castle, drop a castle, get Kongs out and use those Kongs and uh, continuously harass your uh, opponent. So that could have been a play, uh, but sometimes yeah, you don't have to, you don't want to do that. I think the main problem with Team Mills was uh, those early walls. They messed it up completely. And from then, uh, both the flanks uh, from Team Mills um, did not, were, were not able to catch up. They, both of their pockets were went, went fast castle and mm. they couldn't uh, help their flanks. Yeah, so. and both the pockets should have gone uh, double stable knights uh, instead of like full boom. Uh, yeah. Like at some at a time they they had like lot of opportunity to kill uh, both Hades and Nitro uh, in early castle uh, and also kill the complete army. But uh, Rash decided to boom. Big mistake. Yeah, big mistake actually. So, like in any sort of situation, early pushes are pretty strong because your opponent would be won't have the tech, and you will be able to uh, outtake them and kill any sort of military. So feudal army. Oh, then if you go like fast castle and you haven't walled yet, so it's just kind of misplay from team else because mm. they went fast castle even if their like walls weren't up and they just got pushed so hard in feudal age and i think yeah. there's gonna be a big fight now in zegay's oh. zegay is now finally uh switching to trash uh and korean trash is oh. not that bad they can have uh skirms they can have uh halves uh but still killing titanic knights is gonna be Pain at every place. Titanic, uh, sorry, knight, paladins from Teutons. They're just sick. They're not Teutonic knights. My bad. <laughs> oh, so these paladins from Teutons. But they still, have like, sick. Boyars have a more uh, melee armor than Teutonic paladin. Yeah, but look at the so, army behind those uh, paladins. That actually yeah. counters everything. So, so what all Nitro some has to do is... Coming, uh, there are some Onages coming out. Oh, oh that bird of a big shot, but I think that wasn't enough. So stop yeah. that push. Especially if a Mangonel comes out and look at all the archers stacked at one place. You just need like one hit and that's uh, bye bye army for Hades. But yeah, yeah we but have knight uh, paladins here, so we don't have to worry these about These are the Briton archers, so they just outrange yeah. Mangonels. Two. And there's one more coming out. Oh, and okay. there you go, they call it GG. Yeah, it's GG. Yeah. And other and side got pushed as well. Yeah, yeah on the other side, your yeah, rams, uh, Farimba camels, and Viking uh, archers. Uh, sorry, Arbalas, and there is no uh, possibility for them to stop this push. I would say both the pockets from uh, TMLs, uh, yeah, they made some pretty Friendly, bad decisions yeah. uh, in early castle and also early imp, uh, especially while taking fights. And all, mostly, uh, the biggest mistake was walling up, uh, trying to wall like too forward. Um, 
in dark age that was the biggest mistake and not going up to feudal faster and yeah. also letting uh, your flank and po- uh, opponent flank and pockets uh, scouts and archers into the bases so they were behind from that point with the villagers and uh, at this point it doesn't matter but if you can still look at the will count uh, gray has never crossed 80 wills he's still at 70 uh, somehow uh, Korean player uh, managed to get the will numbers up, but uh, he was going again for a uh, unique unit and he lost all his castles and he was not able to uh, make those elite war wagons. He could have easily, let's say if you wanted to go trash, I think uh, like towers everywhere and then trash along with the towers would have been a pretty good decision for him. Uh, like full skirms and hulls would have been good along with the towers and then he could could have gone for crepes, ram, like onigers would have been even better. Uh, Koreans, they do get extra uh, range, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, on DE, right? Uh, yeah, it's a castle tech. Wait, let me uh, quickly check that. I think that's Japanese, actually. Uh, let me uh, check, yeah. Yeah, extra range, plus one castle, plus two imperial age. Yep, see? And mm. also they have that castle uh, tech for And that walling in the start, like, he just came onto the face of Hades and started walling. That was actually a really bad choice by mm. uh, Zeke. And he lost two villages there, actually three villages there. Yep. And like some, uh, and again, uh, one thing for uh, Team Archibus would be, like, their usual trade is pretty slow like uh, trade has to go up as soon as you reach him but before before clicking up to him the trade routes at least should be established you don't have to start the trade a trade route should be uh, established and uh, once you reach uh, once you reach imperial age once you get all the upgrades uh, when you have gold you should start the trade it's not like when you run out of gold yeah so that's one thing I think Team Occupy sort of messed it up. But other than that, yeah, pretty good play from both the teams. Uh, crash uh, with few bad decisions, and on the other side, uh, is in time uh, with few bad decisions, especially at the fights. Okay, uh, well played. Uh, let's have a quick look at the stats. Uh, Byzantine had max number of wills, which is you know fine as a Byzantine player. Um, technology, economy goes for definitely I was in time and military, uh, let's see the largest military as expected Vikings villages from Sege Max would so, you expect that from a flank player? from whom, sorry? Sege Max, he got 163 villages yeah, I mean he had to catch up with the boom or else it'll be very difficult for him. But it's just the gameplay and the unit choices uh, that they went for. And also, like, like say for example, if you're going for unique units, if you place your castles forward, uh, and it'll be very easy for your opponents to tread those castles, which will be very difficult for him to make uh, unique units from the castles. You need at least three to four castles to continuously uh, make unique units. If you make those castles forward and you lose your castles, how are you going to make military? So that's one thing. Uh, Do you think if Zege had went for Arbalest instead of Elite War Wagons, would it be like same outcome for uh, uh, this match? Uh, no, probably that might have uh, changed uh, uh, slightly a bit. Uh, he could have easily added, uh, let's say, halves along with the combination, uh, Arbalest, halves, and Boyars. Uh, that would have been pretty difficult for um, both Hades and Nitro to push on this side. But the problem is again the other side. So other side, they had no counter for the combination that Fur and uh, Legion was going. They were always picking the bad fights. Wrong places. Or was adding light cab as well. So Frimba light cab is actually really, really decent. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Like this is a very good unit for raiding, and also use it as a meat shield. The plus seven attack is actually like really strong for a trash unit. Mm-hmm. Would you say? Yeah, yeah, trash unit. Yes, with Frimba uh, attack. Yes. So yeah, one. Um, it's an amazing game, uh, well played uh, by both the teams. It's just like few small 
tiny things i mean all these things as casters we can say uh but the problem again is like why you play the game you have like complete strategy and complete mindset and you also have to work out with your team so yeah stuff might change in game but this is our point of view right yeah what could have been uh, done better or where it went wrong so yeah let's go uh, with game number 3 and uh, let's see what's going to happen in that let me know uh, when you are ready then i yeah, can pause just a sec so the scores are 2-0 uh, two for team arquebus and zero for team mills and if they want to survive and stay in the show match they have to win this game uh, if they give Team Occupus another win, that's uh, end of the show match. So, the... so who picked this map? Is it like winner's home map or loser's home map, uh, Nitro? Like, uh, I'm sorry, your voice is breaking. Uh, is it fine now? Mm -hmm. So it is game one winner's home map. Okay, so uh, Team Occupus picked. Yeah, it's Arena. Team Occupus home map. Mm-hmm. So what do you think of the saves from so, are the you in, are you in game? Yep. Uh so what time? Forty seconds. Forty seconds. So I just uh unpost the game. I asked you to tell yeah. me, <laughs> but you forgot. Yeah, not <laughs> bad. Is, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> so, so you said that my voice was breaking, so I was just okay. checking something. All right, all right, no worries. So I'm at 33, uh, 35 seconds now. Okay, I'm at 40, you can unpause the game. Okay. Okay, so so let's have a quick look at the team. So Team Arcubus, okay, let's start with uh, Fur. So Fur here is playing in red as Burmese, which is cool. Uh, in his pocket, we have Legion playing in yellow as Lithuanians. Oh, pretty good saves uh, on the left side. On the uh, right uh, pocket and we have Nitro here playing as Q Mastermind. Oh, this I'm is oh, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Mastermind <laughs> playing <laughs> as Q uh, on the right side uh, pocket, and the right side flank we have Hades here playing in orange as Turks. Okay, I, I know, I know, I can see what's gonna happen here. Uh, so, see wise, I know it's gonna be uh, uh, all in strategy or all in boom. Uh, especially with the Turks, it's gonna be all in strategy, and uh, from fur, I Usually Burmese is not a great sieve uh, when games go late on Arena. But yep. looking at Fur picking this sieve as pocket, I think this is going to be castle play from him. It's actually flank. Yeah, yeah, flank. Uh, so it's going to be a castle play mostly. Uh, if they get like high numbers of Arambai, it could be like really devastating yeah. for the opponent's economies because they can just bust in through the walls and yeah. just... Take out PCs and villages. Yeah, that's true. And for the Lithuanians, especially if they can get to those one or uh, two relics, that gives extra attack for them. So along with that uh, Arambai, those knights are going to be pretty sick if it's a complete castle play. So I, that's what I'm expecting based on the sieves. Uh, on the right side, I think from Cumans it's going to be uh, fast feudal and boom. Mo I mean, that should be an option if it's all in push. So 20 minute castle time, two town centers, fully working town centers and mass production knights or maybe drop a castle, uh, double castle and uh, get those Kipchaks out and support those uh, uh, Janissaries. But I'm, I, would, uh, you sh I would think it's going to be night play from Cuman player, double TC boom would be pretty good here. And he can easily click up to Imperial Age uh, by 25 or 26 minutes uh, with that Cuman yeah, Boom. Yeah, the Cuman Boom, yeah. yeah Cuman really Boom is pretty actually. sick too. And uh, on the other side, let's have a quick look at Team Milsips. So we have uh, Chopin playing in the same invisible, uh, invisible color as Chinese. And his pocket we have Byzantine uh, playing as uh, Aztecs. Aztecs, okay. But Aztecs are no flank. Okay, interesting. Um, the other side we have uh, Zage playing as Pocket and Magyars and the 
and the crash a pretty important player in the previous game he is playing as incas this is interesting <laughs> this is interesting i think we can expect a tower rush from incas uh, we as yeah, a sort of yes uh, we can expect but again this is a team game uh, usually tower rushes doesn't work that effective on arena one we once it works but in team games yeah it's going to be pretty difficult for team mill to pull off that strategy but that is an option for crash if you want to go on delay uh fur and legion are the strongest players uh, in team archivers at least if we can delay hey dragon thanks a lot for the host welcome so at least if we can push uh, fur and legion slightly behind uh, maybe then the Aztec player and Chinese players can get into the game and try to kill uh, their side. So that's an option, but let's see uh, what the playstyle is going to be from Mills. But based on the civilizations from Team Archibus, I am sure it's going to be complete castle push. Uh, Arumbai and few double st like single stable or double stable knights from Legion. Uh, I would think he may start off, uh, the possibility for him would be he can start off with one stable. And one monastery, get the relics. Uh, at the same time, boom, and keep making knights you with one stable and support those around by. That would be a nice play uh, if Legion can uh, implement it. And the other side, uh, human player, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen Mastermind play that strategy. But yeah, double TC. Okay, looking at the will count, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, slaying he... into fast M4 Turks, like human players uh, slinging the Turks player and Turks go for fast M. But, but the problem here is Chinese. If you can get Chukunus out, like some sort of meat shield, it's gonna yeah. be difficult for a uh, Turk player to push in. But again, then we have Aztecs. A gunpowder usually counters uh, Infantry, Aztecs, yeah. and, but Aztecs they do have like six combs, which can. Uh, but I don't like that Aztecs is being a pocket instead of Chinese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Aztecs so should have been he... flank, and uh, before Hades goes to castle, he could have gone to castle and go and go for siege monk push. So that actually yeah. works. Especially when you see Turks on castle uh, on arena, you expect. Uh, first thing you expect is uh, fast temp, so dropping a castle on him and... Uh, uh, like it doesn't necessarily friends. have to be fast temp. Uh, you can just go like fast castle, uh, drop a castle and uh, non-stop uh, Janissary production. So that but also sort of comes. Power spike for uh, Tux with that fast temp is actually really good. Yeah, yeah. Like by the time uh, he gets... Chemistry saves a lot of time and you can instantly produce bombard cannons and uh, hand cannoneers. Yeah, as expected, Mastermind is going for double TC boom uh, in feudal, fast feudal. But let's see if we're gonna click up to castle and reach castle by 21 or 22 minutes. So, both, both the teams have bonuses on relics as uh, team for team Archibus. It's uh, bonus attack on. Bonus attack on uh, Lithuanian cavalry and uh, Aztecs are always as usual. Uh, Aztecs with that uh, relic bonus, fast gold. Yeah, generation. relic bonus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the monks are gonna be also pretty sick along with the relics. So yeah, uh, let's see who is gonna compete for the relics and who is gonna capture more relics. At least uh, uh, early castle, we might see scouts trying to. Protect those relics from both the teams, but both the flanks from both the flanks from team mills are heavy on stone, so we might see a castle drop. Oh yeah. So they sort of expect like what's gonna happen. So it's not like they're new uh, players. Uh, when they, especially when they see this, these sort of saves on arena, they can sort of already expect. Okay, okay, this is gonna be Arambai. Okay, this guy is gonna go for relics and get more attack on the. Uh, knights uh, and yeah. humans it's gonna be like boom or maybe okay boom and sling or boom and fast him so yeah people can uh, players can expect what's gonna happen but realizing that team mill team mills i think have uh, adapted pretty well but now all it's gonna go to uh, the relic control and see if they're gonna get relics 
especially uh, uh, like in the in team games you have eight relics now it's not like one or two relics uh, or just five relics for all the players so the more relics that you get the faster you can get more like it's a free goal for any uh, team sorry for any player especially um, when you have assets in your team it's like you have to go for relics because yeah. of that extra goal they give from mm -hmm. the relics and look faster. at look at this uh, zage is scouting that relic continuously he's just patrolling there and he knows that uh, mastermind scout is weak and no idea what happened to um, legions uh, scout uh, i don't see it on the map anywhere oh no uh, this is bad fight for hades why do you pick fights like this he did not get the fast hit but oh man there you go. The bad choice, yeah. Yeah. Like if you don't get the first hit, you should always run away. Or just try avoiding fights. Simple. And Fur is supposed to... Okay, uh, okay, still... Seems like Legion lost his scout. That's pretty bad. I don't see his scout anywhere on the map. Yeah. He was attacking... Uh, Trash's walls, but... Oh, he's there. Uh, in front of Magyar's base. Oh. Zagis base. Oh yeah, I see it. So, what do you think of Zagis? He has like pretty rough series. He actually just got destroyed in game one and uh, didn't play that well in game two. Actually, like was decent but not that good. Wasn't mm -hmm. able to support his uh, pocket. And and Fed, someone is slinging. Okay, uh, it's mastermind. So you can see that Tux guy is already up to amp now. Yep. So we so, can see some problem. hand cannoneers and bombard cannons from Oh, them. no, I wouldn't say... Yeah, yeah, yep, hand cannoneers and bombard cannons. Yeah, that's, that's the basically true. only thing you go with Tux mm -hmm. in fast time. And Legion lost Monk. He's trying to grab the relic. Yeah, and that's really you... bad. Why, why do this? Like, and monks have like a lot of line of sight, so you can just see, yeah, exactly uh, out there. So, that's just a bad like, play from Lee. Mastermind is continuously trying to scout this area, but somehow they have to kill this uh, Zage's scout here trying to protect the relic. Fur and Legion has to bring uh, their scouts back and then try to get at least few relics back home for uh, Lithuanian players so that those knights can be pretty sick. On top of that, uh, Zeg is Magyar, so that uh, plus two uh, attack uh, on attack, the scout yes. is really good. Two. So and... you can take out Legion scouts now, if Legion oh, chooses man. to fight. Legion, that's pretty bad micro there. Uh, so he got like a couple of free hits. Heal up! No, you can fight! Why are you running? Just heal up! And take the fight! Oh boy, this is... This Trying is... to convert the scout. Yeah. So now the Magyar player is going for a uh, yeah, single stable, uh, just like get some scouts out, get the map control, try to snipe as many monks as he can. But uh, still, okay, let's have a quick look at first. Okay, he is making ton of, tons of RMB. And, uh, there's but, two scouts and Legion is going to lose two more monks. Oh, oh no. and he gets the conversion. He gets a conversion, but he's going to lose the monk. So, so, yeah, just, but... just go and kill the monk, why? And Legion is just Lost using one months. scout. Oh no. He's gonna lose the converted scout as well. Oh man, that's pretty bad he's micro. A disaster for Team Archibus. Like, he yeah. lost four monks now and uh, two, uh, one scout actually and the other one was converted. Okay, Hades is already in Imperial Age. Let's see what he's gonna do now. Okay, he has four uh, ranges. He doesn't have any economy to support. If he doesn't but... add economy, he like... Some point He's getting master, stung by mastermind. Yeah, mastermind so... It's a four v four game, so mastermind has to click up at some point and start providing military. If you look at the military right now, just seven hand cannoneers and a bombard cannon, and he's just he's still sitting at home. So, so if Chinese goes for Chukanus, they can just shred this push from Hades, and uh, then Master will be so behind because he hasn't yeah, clicked up yet. Exactly. And uh, there's no eco for Hades. Yeah, so and it will be really bad if this uh, push uh, yeah. gets. Look, look at Hades, uh, uh, like resources. He can actually drop maybe like five to six farms, 
uh, get the will production uh, up and running he can even go for another town center uh, like behind oh, he this can he can add, still he can just add uh, bomb cannons with that wooden goal yeah, yeah he can he's still gonna add. get slung from uh, from uh, mastermind so that is no problem for him yeah at the same time he needs to add uh, he, you need to have a backup plan it's not like all in strategy in team games you can get pushed pretty hard in team game let's say what if he loses this complete military like he won't be uh, he, he won't will lose. be a pretty, uh, pretty much gg for team arkebus yeah. on this side if he loses this military mm. with the amount of resources he can easily add or balance his economy so that he doesn't have to uh, be dependent on mastermind uh, in the complete game but for again sitting here in the middle with uh, some 15 arm by and not doing any damage now he's going for a forward castle i think he's uh, just protecting relics uh, for legion to grab them so still legion has only two relics so he's standing two monks now mm -hmm. and he's going to get one relic i don't see which other relics he is going to get and look at that bombard cannon from Hades why is it going all the way around and this is not looking good why is it producing knights he uh, should produce knights, knights can actually if he has enough number of knights he can kill it uh with a good mangonel shot you can use the cheaper and chicken can get uh, and so what's get, the uh, range of chicken awesome. that's the thing right the so hand cannon yeah. is has 17 range it's actually attack. <laughs> oh, sorry. They have yeah, seven yeah, range. Yeah, they have seven range. Chukunu, I forgot the range. How much is the range on Chukunu? It's actually five, I guess. Base. Uh, not sure if it's five. Uh, I'll, I'll check. So, yeah, uh, Chukunu the... has four range and four on elite as well. Oh, okay, so, so it's the... base four range, four plus four the eight range. So knights can tank a lot of uh, this fire, but he needs a lot, lot more numbers. So what do you think? Should he go for bombard cannons first or first hand cannoneers? No, no, this this composition is is good. He doesn't have to worry about the composition. And the, and the numbers is also pretty high for him. So Chukunu... Okay, the Chinese player is pretty dead now. He can't do anything. The knights that he has, uh, not enough to kill these many hand cannoneers. He has to get on top of them. And it all comes to micro. He doesn't have a place to. He has only attack. And knights are gonna get shredded if he is gonna send like. Oh, on the other knights. side, look, the fur was inside Magia. Oh, nice base and yes. He just got a lot of damage there. Now he's trying to get out. And there are five monks from crashes. And they're gone. Let's see how much conversions does he get? He, did, he got nothing because those Arambai were very close to the monks. And now, conversion. now finally he decided to use those knights. Oh man, the numbers are going down slowly. Oh no. So but I think yeah, he can around. still yeah he can kill those knights. He just has to micro. But he has a plus one on this, those knights. Mm. So if he had waited for plus two, the, yep. he might have cleared that up. But he still has chance to clear that up. But how? Uh, yeah, it's not. So Stacey's Chinese gone. guy is downer now. Yeah, Chinese player is uh, yeah, civilization is gone now. now. And uh, now, uh, Far is trying to get into uh, Crash's base. Crash is dropping more defensive castles, and Legion just advanced to Imperial Age. So that's gonna be how many? How much attack? Plus four? Yes, plus four oh. attack on those paladins. Plus a free boom. Plus a free boom. Yes. Yeah, that's on it. On the other hand, uh, I like. Crash and uh, 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 Hey Varun, Team Mills is or... not Indian team, it's from Australia. Uh, team Arcubus is from India. So this is a show match between India, uh, one Indian clan versus uh, one clan from Australia. And Green is here to help. Uh, yeah, he may get like one or two bombard cannons, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. But uh, And Eagles comes in from Teal as well, so... Mm -hmm. I don't think that's enough. Yep. If Especially. Fred has like saved his numbers up and waited for his allies to uh, bring reinforcement, then they might have cleared this up, and then uh, Hades won't have anything. And uh, yeah, now Master is just singing them him all the time. 
So yeah, eagles are gonna get traded versus hand cannoneers. There is no doubt yeah. about that. You can make uh, hundred eagles if there are like some seventy hand cannoneers. It's more than enough. And he doesn't even have elite yet, so it's still like really bad for him mm -hmm. to throw those numbers up. He should mass them so, up, get elite, and um, try to clear this up. But you know what the problem is gonna be? Yep. Lithuanians with those yeah, four Lithuanian, relics. Yeah. Four relics and, I can and the Paladin see Cavalier, Cavalier coming up, uh, coming in from Legion. And look at the attack, 12 plus 6. Imagine uh, when they become Paladins. Oh boy. Man. And still no Paladin upgrade yet from uh, Legion. I think he should focus on that. And then go for the army. Oh no, Paladin upgrade. Come on, Legion. And, and Teal got the late upgrade and now he's trying to clear this up. But uh, Eagles I mean, against Hand Cannon is just a poor choice. Yeah, I mean it, it don't work versus hand cannoneers. You need you need at least some sort of meat shield in front of those hand cannoneers to do any damage. Maybe like knights or some yeah, archers knights. would have worked. Ni you need a lot of knights uh, to kill uh, these hand cannoneers with full upgrades. But now uh, cavalier upgrade and finally he clicked up to the paladin. So now legion can kill everyone. You don't uh, like if the whole team Oculus doesn't have to worry about anything because one guy from team Mills is already dead. Uh, you just have to kill three more players and uh, Fur is doing a lot of damage and he's just uh, making sure that uh, Zage sits in his base so that he won't come out and uh, boom or maybe sort of get some sort of control but now the Cavalier are gonna just get into his base and to kill this Cavalier he has nothing Zage has nothing. Kamiuk choice. Do you think Kamiuks can kill this thing? Yeah, Kamuks can kill, uh, but uh, that plus four the, attack is yeah. That you really but look use? at the numbers; they're Aram by two. Yeah, but Aram by yeah, and there's so, no military from Green. Yeah. Team. So uh, Green is dead had now. A poor match, poor Green series for Zegan. They're oh, just gonna God. take out his thesis now. Oh, disaster. Oh no. Oh boy, that's it. Uh, Zage is out of the map. Uh, Chopin is out of the map. Now all Byzantine time is trying to get some time and get back into the game. And Crash is already uh, sort of out. I mean, he is still alive, uh, but as one player, he cannot play versus four. And there you go, he resigns. And Mastermind is still slinging uh, Hades. Yeah, he is still slinging and he is still in feudal. <laughs> Look at Hades' resources. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a nice game. Uh, well played yeah. to G -G. Yeah, uh, Team Archibus. So that, that's actually 3-0. Uh, that brings us to end of the series. Mm, in best of five, Team Archibus comfortably won uh, three games without any issue. Yeah, well played. Uh, tough luck for uh, uh, Team Mills. They, I think it's just the saves and the fights and the unit choices that they were uh, going for in all the three games. What do you think games. about the draft of uh, Arkabas? Uh, I haven't looked at the draft. And draft. I haven't looked like, at the draft the, completely. Uh, you know the saves they got, right? Uh, no, I uh, uh, haven't looked at the draft. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I mean, like draft, you should always prepare based on the maps which team Arkabas has done. A pretty good job so they already decided what to do in what sort of maps uh, so they, they I can say there is a lot of uh, pre-game planning that's been put into uh, this show match at least by team Occubus. Uh by team Mills I would say I'm um, there are good but they lack uh, some coordination yeah, and uh, team chemistry for team Occubus is like really good mm, they because know you guys play every day right so that's a different yeah. thing <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that was the plus point for 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 us. Like, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, in this case, if they play uh, quite often regularly, uh, team mills, they can. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's all like strategies and counter strategies when it comes to tournaments and show matches, right? Like proper saves and see what you can do based on the civilization bonuses. 
uh, especially the team bonus uh, basically sticking as a team and playing as a team right oh uh, yeah synergy purple man yeah that's the word i was looking for <laughs> you'll get it if you play more often so yeah well played there for team archibus uh, so uh, so I just got a confirmation today from Nitro guys. So he is gonna organize show matches mostly every week, one show match per week. Uh, is right, is Nitro? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be like Team Arcubus versus something. Like, can be any show matches. Uh, yeah. Any it team. Could be any. So, as community manager, he took that responsibility. Um, for quite some time now and he's doing it this is the second show match uh, that he organized and the first show match got cancelled due to some technical issues after playing one game uh yeah hopefully from now onwards uh every weekend we might see uh, show matches with different teams different players uh possibly even different countries not necessarily india uh, that's gonna yeah spread the AOE India news to different communities as well and it will definitely help us uh, with our future plans that we are uh, going ahead. Uh, Team India versus so Team Australia. How many exactly viewers are we getting right now? Uh, we have 10 uh, on Twitch. So I'm going to say is that if any of you guys is interested in uh, like giving show matches a chance just contact me i'm gonna organize show matches for you guys yeah uh, nitro is on uh, discord guys uh, so you can just contact him anytime if you want to do a show match or if you want to talk to him regarding show matches or if you want like any sort of team that uh, can play uh, show matches please contact him um, you want to just play show matches for fun it's yeah. still like just mm -hmm. contact me so he will uh, uh, he will add it up to the schedule and we'll find some sort of streamers uh, who can do the who can do the streaming and stuff so yeah uh, with that we're gonna conclude uh, this show match and congratulations to team occupus and tough luck for team mills look at the stats, the stats oh, yeah. Yeah, 143 yeah. kills for hades op <laughs> 16,000 resources uh, slung by mind. Slung economy. Oh god. Yeah, nice. I I do hope that he got all the upgrades <laughs> on that um, uh, market <laughs> before slinging. Or else yeah, you... there's no upgrades in feudal age. <laughs> That's why you need to get the castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you can sling more. <laughs> Um, but still... uh, what about 1v1 show matches? Yeah, any show match, uh, you guys can contact Nitro. So, clan versus clan show matches, 1v1 show matches, everything. So, Nitro uh, is the one who is heading that particular department. So, yeah, feel free to reach him out, talk to him. Uh, and then, yeah, he will try to uh, make a schedule and uh, post it on Discord and announce it everywhere. So that was nice casting with you, Nitro. That was fun. Thanks for uh, having me. Oh, pleasure, man. So good job with the show match. And yeah, let's try to get uh, one show match a week. It's going to be yep. fun. Hmm? All right. Yep. So with that, I'm going to end the stream here. I'm not sure to whom to host. Let me quickly check that as well. Or I if think you... Star is playing some team games. Uh, but he's host. not streaming. Uh, he just hosted us. Oh. Yeah, that's the uh... thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me quickly see if uh, someone's streaming. Uh, then I'll just host them. You can just say hi from... Oh, Slam is uh, playing. So, yeah, we can host Slam. So... Yeah, that's it guys. Uh, see you soon, tomorrow, and yeah, have a nice evening. Bye-bye.